That's a provocative question to which you will not get an answer. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy. You know my guest today from Star Trek and Wonder Woman. He's a fantastic actor and his eyes are so blue. I think he might be CGI. It's Chris Pine. Hey dude, how are you? Look at your psychedelic backdrop. Are you having a rave there? What's going on? I'm raves here every day. I've been talking to you for many years, so I think you know this, but I'm gonna say this for the record. You're my favorite Chris. I, I, <laughs> I just want it out there. I feel like I'm the underdog right now, so I'll take all the support <laughs> I, can, I can get. Do you have a leaderboard at home? Do you, like, when, when Evans, like, wears the cool Christmas sweater last year, are you like, shit, he's in the lead. What the fuck? <sighs> yeah, those damn Chris's, man. I just, you know, it's either change my name or really just step it up, you know? Here's my idea. All the Chris's come together for an Avengers-style movie. We call it the christening. Christening, yeah. This, this make, all you guys need to do is just sit around in cute sweaters for two hours. That makes $2 billion yeah, or easy. Yeah, you know, shoot, man. Maybe either we do like a, maybe it's just a Comic-Con, a Chris-a-Con, or <laughs> we do like a, like a Rat Pack show at the Sands, you know, where we, <laughs> we entertain and do a bit of vaudeville and, uh, you know. Yeah. You're getting a lot of attention in Wonder Woman 1984, not only for your fantastic performance, but the amazing style that you rock. I, I am crediting you with bringing back the fanny pack, but I want to see if you can bring back any fashion. I'm going to show you some retro fashions. You tell me if this works. Yes, all day, yes! A Don Johnson first, is that my face? Yes! Fuck, I look good. Look at that, look at that. Fucking hair. Are you ready to tan that much though? Sure. <laughs> he looks great. To be fair, I feel like this is already in your wardrobe. This is not so far off. To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, I I would try wearing that. 100 percent Look at that shirt. It's like a silk basketball jersey. <laughs> what do you think? Yes, of course I'd wear that. Is that a full leather? Yeah. I'd say yeah. no to the hair. Okay. Yes to the polka dot. Definitely to the guitar. A <laughs> hundred million percent to the matching leather outfit. Uh, yes! Fuck! Of course! <laughs> Fred Astaire? Of course! Are you kidding me? Now that takes a lot of upkeep though. Yeah. I've that actually... I want to do... I'd like to bring back the top hat. You could do it! If I any man can do it. Could, but I could try, I could certainly try. You if know? you had showed up today just wearing a top hat and like a monocle, I would have been Mr. Monopoly is living. It's good, it but works. Monocles are interesting. I've never totally understood. When they put the monocle in, are they flexing face muscles to keep the monocle in or does the monocle somehow just fit into that cavity right there? Yeah, because you're gonna like, that's, that's, that's exhausting, yeah. It definitely hurt after a while. Yeah, that's a <laughs> badass. <laughs> This is... <laughs> Look at that! That's a good photo shot! <laughs> that's, the, that's the real you. That's the inner you. That's a good photo shot! I, dude, I want to play, play, play this character. So this is a little Nosferatu action. That's your face. What do you think? If any man can bring back the high what collar... Look at my face in there. I mean, I don't, you know... I Look, on a daily, I don't know if I can... I, <laughs> you know, I, on a daily, I like a, I like a nice espresso cup and those... Right. Those nails aren't doing it, but uh, yeah, you're not, I, you're not, I try you're, to play that. That feels like a Gary Oldman character. I could do that. Sure. You're, not, you're not willing to not uh, cut your nails for a year just for high fashion? I would be willing to not cut my nails for a year if that meant I could play flamenco music really well. <laughs> oh, one more. This might be my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the... <laughs> What were the costume fittings like for that, I wonder? And short, how, very short. How, how <laughs> after you put all that on, they're like, to top it all off, we're gonna have a, a long braid. All right, another challenge for you. This is a game uh, where we're gonna test your acting prowess. We're, we call this one, Who Am I? Singer in the 80s. Um, Madonna, Whitney Houston. She's a girl, she's a, she's Cindy a woman. Lauper. Yes, uh, wears a lot of gold chains, was on the 18. Oh, Mr. T, B.A. Yeah. Baracus. Works at uh, the North Pole for Santa. Rudolph? Uh, no, the, uh, no, 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 little people. 
Oh, the elves, the the the. the yes, elf. but a, another word for pal. Another word for pal. For, for, for elf, the friendly elf, the buddy, uh -huh. buddy, buddy. Yes, uh, he lives with his mom in in a creepy motel. Uh, uh, Norman Bates, You're good at this. I did a movie with him about a train. Um, uh, Denzel Washington. Uh, you're 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 in the navy, and you you you're the leader of the ships. Uh, you're, you're, captain, uh, you're captain. You're an admiral. You're uh, you're. Yes. A, Yes, and Ab then and then the second word. I'm is, the last uh, Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm your friendly neighborhood uh, spinning web guy. I. Uh, oh, Spider Man. Yep. Uh, uh, um, I'm like that guy, but I'm um, oink oink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm a little uh, Charlotte's Web had one of these, but yeah, uh, but, it, hey. but it's yeah, but it's but but it's with hey. the fr friendly neighborhood version. It was it was Spider Pig. Let's pass. I'm a material girl living in a material world. Madonna. Yep. Uh, Doc. Uh, one point twenty one gigawatts. Uh, the. Uh, oh! <laughs> yeah, it's it's alliteration. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, your your buddy on the Enterprise, Zach Quinto. Spock. Yep. Woo! I think we killed it. Some provocative would you rather questions for you, Chris. Would you rather never watch a movie or never read a book again? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, uh, I guess never watch a movie again. I mean. Wow. Would you rather only appear in Princess Diaries sequels or never act again? <laughs> <laughs> I would rather only appear in Princess Diaries sequels. Okay, let's make it happen. Would you rather have a horrible singing voice and not know it, or be really bad at sex and not know it? <laughs> God, I don't know. Bad, bad singing. <laughs> that, uh, that sucks. That question sucks. <laughs> For the rest of your life, you can only wear a fanny pack or only be in costume as James Kirk. Fanny pack and nothing else, or your full-on James Kirk outfit? Fanny pack and nothing else. There, I mean, there's, there's too much room for... Something bad's gonna go in the former. I'll right. just dress as James C. Kirk. Last one. This is the Dakota Johnson memorial question. She posed this to me on a previous show. Would you rather have a mouthful of bees or one bee in your butt? One bee in my butt. Just no brainer? Yeah, it's a no brainer. Are you kidding me? A mouthful of bees? Yeah. Is it more about not wanting the mouthful of bees or wanting the, the bee in the butt? <laughs> That's a provocative question to which you will not get an answer. <laughs> Uh, this is, again, a practical answer, Josh. I don't want a mouthful of fucking bees. Okay? I'm not threatening you. They're not going to be there. Um, You're threatening me! My friend, this has been a joy. It's always good to catch up with you. Congratulations on Wonder Woman 1984. Oh. Again, you're always my favorite Chris. You should know this. You know, start a petition or something. I'm around. To be fair, I say that to every other Chris, too, just so you know. I know you do. <laughs> But for a second, I believed you.